Welcome back YouTubers, I am Timothy, welcome to my channel. If you're new, very warm welcomes from my heart to your hearts. And today we're gonna to be discussing Libra and what to expect for work relationships finances from now October 2019 all the way to December 2019. What do we need to know? You know, how how how's our energy gonna play off? What are we what are we be working with? Now today we're gonna to work with the unicorn cards, with the tarot cards, and we're gonna to get to see what are you needing to deal with in this month and um, until December. Okay, so welcome to my channel and come and listen to what your answers are. Now the first one, believe in yourself. Now, Librans are the, the most amazing pioneers. They can create anything from nothing and nothing from everything. And they are ability to make things controlled and understood is brilliant. They have this, the most amazing minds to figure the most amazing things out quickly, easily, and always. So if I wanted a technical person, I would hire a Libran to do it because they have the energy to make it work, okay? Librans are all about power, strength, knowing. They are very strong intuitives. They know what they are doing and what their worth is. And this card represents how much your worth is and do you realize your worth and what you give out to the world? So please, believe in yourself. It is the energy right now for you to shine. It's a beautiful month now and that you've done so much work until now, really give yourself a pat on the back and say, I've done it, you know, this year has been a tough year for Librans because they are all about giving all of themselves into everything they're doing and expect some new changes when it comes to work. So new contracts coming in, new things that you have to take on because everyone just shoves it to a Libran, you know, they don't realize that you guys can actually do it perfectly. Now, I want you to understand when the healer's card comes up, it means you need to go for healing whether it is emotional core cutting, that, whether it is a um, reading, or whether that is just a touch base with your natural healer. Now, um, this is also has to do with information of the body. This also has to do with um, the eyes. So if the eyes are taking strain at the moment, um, and also the, the, the digestive system. If it's a little sluggish at the moment, go for cleanse or colon cleanse. And this also wants a very good one for Librans to go through a, uh, a juice detoxing. Okay, not a bad idea for now, okay. Happy thoughts. Now, happy thoughts has to do with how we perceive things. You know, when a Libra gets bogged down by the mental side of things, it's very hard to understand um, why certain things are happening in a certain way. But once they get in their mind, they can run with it. Um, sometimes in relationships, um, it's a lot of work for Libra to be there because you're all in, you're in it to, to survive. You're really there for your partner and you take up all the mental slack over here and you run with the show. Very much a go-getter energy, by the way, so well done. Now, decide. Decide what it is you want for the rest of this year. It's about putting your energy in motion. It's about putting a force behind your energy and putting your will by your force. So this is the energies of making up your mind and sticking with what you said you're going to do. This year, until the end of this year, is a very good energy opportunity for you to grow. And I want you to take wind of that. End of, the year, end of this month is um, Mercury in retrograde on the 31st of October. This is a very tough time for um, for Librans because they have to deal with their stuff, okay? Because Librans want to deal everything on the mental side, fix things, and then sometimes push the emotions under the carpet and then a mercury in retrograde will then bring that to the surface, okay? So we need to be in alignment with our emotions and uh, once you start ruling a mercury in retrograde, then you're the most powerful you can be, okay? I kind of get the feeling that in this month, kids or children need to be your main focus. I feel if you are feeling that I'm, I'm working, taking away from them at the moment or keeping me too busy, um, I feel kids are for some reason my main focus. So I really want you to spend as much time as with your kids as you can while you still have them underneath your roof. Remember, a Libra mom will be like that over, bearing, looking after, making sure this child is fine and she's safe and um, you know, even he, um, but you get what I mean. Librans are brilliant, whatever they put their minds to. I love Librans because they can problem solve like you can't believe. And in relationships, they carry their partners mostly. Okay, so just remember that. Uh, be aware of when to give and when not to give in that Serena, okay? Let's go take a look at to see your, your tarot cards for this year until December. Let's go see. Now, you already got the world card. Now, the world card is in the middle of this. Now, this can be sometimes be international travel 
or people from overseas coming to visit. Now, I like the idea of international travel for you, but if you can't go, that's fine. If a family member is coming down to come visit you over the festive season, em embrace that, allow that to happen, enjoy their time and energy. Or maybe it is work that's taking you internationally or something's happening with the international contract. Now, um, that is a good thing for business, by the way, so brilliant. If that is kind of cards for you, take a wind of that, okay? It means that we need to think bigger about our business. So if we're in business, we need to think about expansion now. It's not about playing it small. It's about like, okay, this is my bigger dream. Let's go forward. Okay, so that is if you are running your own show, if you're working for someone, um, the world card can represent a lot of pressure, a lot of work streams coming in, a lot of your time being needed. And maybe that's why the kids came up. So maybe we're feeling a little bit guilty that we didn't have time for them. So I must cry. It's about creating that balance between work and home. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go to the more juicy bits of here because it's staring me right in the face. If you're single as a Libran, yes, Mr. Man coming into your cycle. And it's someone that is going to be playful. So, I'm going to say to you, um, explore relationships right now. Don't feel that you are being, having to be responsible that you don't have time for relationships. A new person's coming to your cycle, and I want you to run with it. Now, if you are married, this is the king of cups, is your partner wears their heart in the sleeve. Now, I want for your partner, if you are in a marriage or in a relationship with um, this person, um, the pages can sometimes feel neglected. Okay, so we need to then create the date nights, nice, open up the energies of love for your partner. Remember, you guys are like in sync with each other. If you are mar if Libran is married, they'll be in sync with their partner and just feel, hang on, they, uh, if they're getting a little bit more agitated or we need to handle with them with gloves at the moment, then we do so. Uh, what's nice about a Libran, they're very adaptable to other people's emotions for the majority of the time, okay? Remember that Librans need the element of water to balance, okay? So in this arena of a, a good person to be around is a water sign because they have the, that ability to nurture and whereas an air sign might overdo things, a water sign will be able to hold them and make them feel safe. Okay, so uh, stick around with earth, uh, water signs or earth signs. These are the people that are going to feed you. Um, stay away from fire signs because they're going to irritate you. And just to give you an understanding of what to work with. Okay, and now the tower and the ace of swords. When these two cards come up, it means that we are under a lot of pressure. Now, in all fairness, the tower can sometimes represent fast acting energies that we have no control over. And Librans love control, they want to be in control of everything from what they eat to how they do things to how they, they, they run their day. Um, the Ace of Swords could indicate um, family members coming out of the blue and come to stay by us. It can represent us having to help someone without. Any preparation for that so just be aware when it comes to friends and family we might have to help someone out over here so just be aware of that um, minimize that as much as you can don't overgive don't overspend your energy you are such a strong person but yet people can also get a lot of things out of you because you're so like ah, I just want to help I just want to help on look after okay not a bad thing from your personality just I'm saying some people just rock up out of the blue and then, or as someone old, and I have to like kind of help them, you know? All right, so now let's go into more juicy bits. You, the 10 of wands, I'm gonna ask you if you can, put a lot of music around you, I need things to be flowing around you. If you're finding that it's the same repetitive pattern, I need to break that pattern. Spice things up again, get out on the open. If you're finding you sitting at home all day, I want you out and about. This card of a 10, I want you, in all fairness, to be, in a playful mood, okay? Because tens can bring people together and they make them feel comfortable, they make them feel alive. And I feel at work, maybe that's where you are placing your energy. Maybe you are the person that makes everyone more like, yes, let's still do this, you know? Um, you're the, the backing force of everyone in this office or wherever you're working and you're keeping them on their toes and you're making them work hard, so well done. Now, 
Ace for money. Yes, finally, money is coming in for you right now. So, and then the three of pentacles. So this means new contracts coming in. So if you're in the contract industry, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. This means new clients. And it says to me, it's quite worth your time to put your energy into these people. So work-wise, you're flying. I'm actually not worried about your finances until December. Uh, I do feel uh, middle of November, Towards the end of November, this is your time for you to indulge in yourself. Do not hold back at all. I feel you have the energy now where you can uh, choose what you want to do, when you want to do it, and have the financial backing to help you. So, whatever's on the card now into December, brilliant, brilliant energy for the Libran, okay? Then you've got the Justice card and the Four. Now, Justice card can sometimes be like um, excess need to pay maintenance, things like that. And then the four is like, come on, dude, wake up. I need you to pay, you know. And this could also be in the air for Libran. Remember, your side is completely squeaky clean when it comes to financial. It means that money is coming in. On their side, that might be with a little bit of a blocky. So there might be a confrontation that we might have to have. But remember, Libran, you are, you've got it covered. You will be fine. You'll be strong. I don't see any problems over yet now. The nines can also be quite difficult. You had a very extreme partner before that would get under your skin very quickly. And um, that's the nine, I'm afraid. Nines can be quite annoying, in all fairness. So take this time to remember why they are next. Remember what did they represent, what you don't want anymore, okay? Like I said, you have the other king of the year that you had earlier in the sign meeting someone new. Maybe we need to cut the energy of the old, move that out and say enough and invite the new in because this is coming into your cycle very strongly if you are single. If you are married, it's about revamping your relationship so we can be again like two new kids in the block again. Make it fun, make it exciting. Do not be too predictable, okay? I find you get very bored very easily and then you're like, okay, I'm done with that nonsense, you know what I mean? So um, your energy this year is beautiful. I'm absolutely loving this reading for you. I'm not seeing any red flags of you that we need to be war um, warning you about. Exes are exes for a reason. So enjoy that fact that they are an ex and we don't have to go through that nonsense again. And I want you to hear these words. Well done, Libran. You have done such a good um, energy for your career this year and family life right now you're busy when it comes to family fair enough that is fine your kids will forgive you they need to see you in that power position and you working because that is for the, um, both of you for your future i don't want you to feel that we are overlooking one for the other i want you to see it as i'm doing it for them not the other way around so there's extra work on your plate it's a breeze, you will get through it 100%. Now, there's for some reason there's a manager or someone like a manager or a power player, someone that we need to either listen to or da da da. There's a energy here of a slight disagreement or there's an energy of someone like is not really connecting to the idea or the vision you might have. So just be aware for Librans, this could be a difficult client, this can be someone that you have to listen to or micromanaging. Remember the energies of you, are you the leader here? You direct them, where you want them to be, what they want to see. Um, I feel you can handle this person coming to your sign, and in fact, it's gonna be difficult at first, but then you'll be their friends later. Um, I feel whatever this person is representing for you is bringing up some issues, and you have to deal with you, and um, you steer them, basically. So I'm you in full control of them over this period, so take it as another challenge because you need to be challenged, okay? Um, I'm actually quite happy with this reading, by the way. Um, thank you so much. Um, if you haven't already, like, share, subscribe, click the bell for the notifications. Um, I'll keep you guys on your toes and growing this channel as much as I can. I wish to honor and say thank you so, so much. Um, and please comment down below if this has served you. Much love to you. Thank you so much. Bye. Mm -hmm.